Hey, it's been a while. Welcome back, my fragrante familia, to Zest for Life Fragrances, aka Fresh Mark Scents. Yes, there has been a little bit of hate recently to the word zesty, and I assure you, it just means funky and fresh. Carrying on, we are doing some very good fragrances today. I couldn't even stop cringing at my own joke. These are berry fragrances, blackberry, raspberry, something sour, fresh. Yes, zesty and fresh. That means unexpectedly fresh. So let's get in with these berry fragrances, something sour, sweet, a little bit playful and great from formal wear all the way to the informal, wherever you're going, staying fresh. First of all is the cheapest of all of them, Activist by The Body Shop. This is simply blackberry with grass notes and amber. I use this as after sports scent, after gym scent, something that's refreshing, uh, very approachable in its sweetness and reminds you of fresh green summer. New starts, new beginning, and everybody finds this quite amicable. No offensive notes there. Nice, sweet one for you, Body Shop. And going up on the price list, this was eight pounds for 100 milliliters, 16 pounds uh, if you were to get, because I got buy one, get one half price, buy one, get one free, I bought the Activist and Arbor or something like that, but that wasn't as good. Sort of had tobacco vibes. This is the best out of all of them. Oh, and White Musk Sport by The Body Shop. That's another great one. If you cannot afford Y by, o by uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Y Eau de Parfum. Next one is Armani Code. Now, sorry, <laughs> this is actually Armani Eau de Nuit. And uh, the reason why I said Armani Code, because it actually is, it's almost like a precursor to Armani Code, that sort of fizzy Pepsi vibe, is replaced with something a bit more mature. Uh, this was made right about in the 80s or something. So well before I was born, I was born in 92. And uh, this gives me um, sort of uh, scent of a lady vibes. You know that guy who played the... Uh, American Gigolo or something like that. He also played Son of a Lady. And this is smooth, uh, smooth, playful vibes. It has blackberry, cardamom, so it's gentlemanly soft, a little bit spicy with the playfulness of um, blackberry. And the black tea note in here really cools the fragrance down and cedarwood finishes it off for a gentlemanly yet playful scent. This really hits the mark in between formal and casual wear. This has signature scent vibes because it's very unique and it's soft enough to apply uh, after five to six hours where it would die down. Quite medium ciliage, so it's not boasting the fragrance, yet it's welcoming you with something warm, spicy, fresh, and cool as well with that black tea note. Next is for people who love the bodacious fragrances. I'm talking about Tom Ford Lost Cherry. Now, I was thinking I don't really want to smell like a cherry. However, if it's mixed with other things that are similar to refreshing perfumes and uh, uplifting notes like uh, orange blossom and the like, which are uplifting and fruity at the same time, you'd get a playful, fruity and rejuvenating vibe, let's say. Something that you would... Um, you'd welcome on a drab day, you'd say, wow, this is a breath of fresh air, fruitiness. Mansira Wild Cherry. Now, I know what you're thinking, here's another one that smells like cherry, but if you like Lost Tom Ford Lost Cherry, I think that, um, you know, you'd really like this because the price is much less, first of all. Well, not just because of the price, but it has a similar um, cherry and almond uh, sort of vibe. It's very smooth and if you beware, uh, if you don't like soapy fragrances, you won't like this. It starts off soapy with orange blossom and heliotrope. I think this is a upmarket version of Jupe Homme EDT, the original, which has heliotrope and almond and a bit of a cherry vibe. 
However, this is done in a much better way. I can't stand the vanilla in Dupont. I think it's overpowering and it doesn't really work with the cardamom. It sort of overpowers it and it's too strong for me. However, the cherry and almond with this is done very nicely. Most days I can't stand it, but on a cool day, on a cool summer's night or very um, still, on a blustery day, let's say, where you want some comfort and some sweetness, a little bit of wild cherry by Mancero goes a long way. Don't be uh, afraid of longevity of this one. This is uh, definitely no slacker. Nine hours longevity. All of them are beast mode fragrances, let's say, that they're gonna last in your clothes for two days and last in your body for nine hours. The next one is another sport fragrance that I really found as being comp the most complimented uh, from many channel views when I go out and I try different perfumes. Lacoste Le Homme Timeless. Fantastic raspberry note with bergamot. Very zingy, refreshing bergamot. Sour fresh. That raspberry picks it up and quince gives it a fizzy note. So it's almost like fizzy raspberry with some limey bergamot very uh, zesty uh, from the get-go uh, that means lively fresh and bright and then we have the akigala wood and cedar wood and sandalwood so akigala wood is sort of like a fake oud note it's a synthetic oud note however it smells like patchouli and argot wood at the same time so a synthetic note that mixes these two notes together. So you get something a little bit classy, a little bit woody after the zesty freshness of bergamot and raspberry. Fantastic perfume. I bought this in 50 ml for about 25 pounds. So it was a great price. I think 21 pounds on sale, but uh, look out for it. Lacoste La Homme Timeless. Never get tired of that one because it always hits you with something new. Sometimes it smells more like raspberry, sometimes it smells more like bergamot. But a classic that I had to bring back because the new one is a little bit weak and I'm going to have to recommend the vintage before it goes away. Yes, Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. The original is about twice two, three times longer lasting as the current whatever's on the market. It's uh, This actually has the notes of strawberry and kiwi. It has more strawberry than kiwi uh, compared to the one on the market, which is more uh, kiwi than strawberry and it goes sour. It still has that incense notes. It has a strong woody patchouli note. This actually started a lot of fruit and patchouli scents, which some of the people call fruit chulies, which is a very generic name for uh, a genre that's come about in the last 20 years, the fruit and patchouli woody ones. But this does it very nicely, opening up with, let's put it in the right way. Oh wow. Opening up with a sour burst of kiwi and strawberry that gets the nose flaring and tingling with the uh, sweet and sour scents. And then the incense comes in and really divides the perfume in two ways, the fruity top and the woody uh, ebony woods, the dark ebony woods. So these are um, like mahogany vibes with the fruit and playfulness on top. So this is a very, um, it's quite a complex fragrance for a market fragrance, like a um, high street fragrance. It's not like Dior or anything, but it's really bringing something new to the game. And I'm glad that I've got the vintage version because this is, uh, we're not going to go down in history, but people are going to mark this as one of the scents that created K Eau de Parfume and a lot of other fruit and wood perfumes. So. This is the beginning and it has the unusual uh, blackberry, well not blackberry, strawberry and kiwi and that's why it's a berry fragrance, just about strawberry um, and really brings about that genre to life. So quite slept on, but I would get, if I was you and I didn't have the Black Excess um, market one today, basically whatever, the watered down version, I would get the vintage from Sabres for about £50. 
it started at 35 pound when I first saw it and then it went up to 50 so well get it while it's hot it's a fantastic perfume and it lasts seven hours in its vintage state the market one today that lasts about four hours four hours to five hours I've heavily oversprayed on that and I've gone down on about more than halfway on my 100 mil of the market one today and this one I've just done a few sprays because I don't need it as much really so there you go people let me know in the comment section what you think about these five we got the cheapest at eight pound another one at about 34 pound this one came for about 70 pounds wild cherry but it lasts a hell of a long time at 120 mil um do not get the um half size of 60 mil because it'll be the same price this one was 25 pounds the most complimented zesty lively fragrance and this is an absolute gem definitely get it in its vintage variety black excess the scent of skins and my generation let's say from uh, e4 who remembers that so whatever you do people stay free and stay fresh oh another one <laughs>